welcome to High Tea with me, with your host, Katrina Brittingham. You brought your favorite beverage, and she brought the career advice. Now sit back and relax while you get advice that will take you to the next destination in your career or business. And now, Katrina Brittingham. Hello, I'm Katrina Brittingham. I am your host with High Tea with me. I'm coming to you today to address the impact of COVID-19 and some impacts that you have if you have had your hours reduced, if you were told to um, stay home and uh, socially distance um, while this is going on, or if you had to self-quarantine because unfortunately um, you have caught the virus or are at risk. So in Pennsylvania, you had the option to file for unemployment as of March 16th, 2020. You have the option to apply for unemployment. And so they have some resources for you. Um, they have loosened the guidelines for applying for um, unemployment, which means that um, you don't have the waiting period of one week for applying. Um, there are some benefits to your employer, which means that they will not have to pay higher taxes because you have applied for unemployment. And so they are allowing you to do hours of income in terms of self-quarantine if your job has temporarily closed um, because of or permanently closed because of COVID-19, um, then you have the option of getting unemployment. Um, whereas uh, there were some more strict guidelines for unemployment. Um, so you have that option and you can apply online for your unemployment benefits. And here they go, I was trying to find them. Um, you, are eligible for unemployment if your employer temporarily closes or goes out of business because of COVID-19. Your employer reduces hours because of COVID-19. You have been told not to work because your employer feels you might get or spread COVID-19, or you have been told to quarantine or self-isolate, or you live or work in a country under government recommended mitigation efforts. Um, so you are able to do this. This is um, in the state of Pennsylvania, and I'm pretty sure that this is also um, federal because it says if you work in a country under government recommended mitigation. Um, so you have the option of applying online. You will go to www.uc.pa.gov so you can learn more about the requirements for um, applying. And they have a self-service guide. They have a live chat um, that is manned for you to get the information that you need and, and the assistance that you need for applying for unemployment. Um, if you believe that you may have been exposed to COVID-19 in the workplace, you may actually be eligible for unemployment. And so uh, you can do that by notifying your employer to file a typical disease as injury. A workers' compensation claim requires you to provide medical evidence that you were exposed to COVID-19 in the workplace. Notify your employer to file occupational disease, uh, occupational disease workers' compensation claim, which requires you to show that COVID-19 is occurring more in your occupation or industry than the general population. Um, typically, this would be more in face-to-face um, -face service industries that um, would be more impacted than other areas um, for um, COVID-19 because you're dealing with people so where you have contact with a lot of people, um, a large group of people, um, sometimes some forms of entertainment where you have uh, a mass quantity of people around you. Um, some people, even in, in the social services sector, people and those who business people may be at risk for this or may have been exposed this way. And so all workers' conversations claims, including COVID-19, are thoroughly reviewed and they do make decisions based on the facts and merits of each claim. So I do have to give you that disclaimer. If your claim is denied, you may file a petition 
uh, with the Workers' Compensation Office of Adjudication. Um, you can learn more about workers' compensation and the injured worker information on this uh, page when you go to um, UC.gov. Um, and so you do have some options for uh, both if you've caught um, the um, virus in your job, you have unemployment available if you have not, but you know, have found yourself um, out of work or have reduced hours, you would go to the website and you would file an initial claim. So when you file an initial claim, when should you file it? You should file it if you have not um, worked because you are separated. So as soon as you find out that you will be separated, you can file that Sunday that you've worked the full or in regular hours, if you remember um, alternative hours you've been given. Because again, this is, um, you know, something that people are just learning about. And so what you do is you put the date of your last day forward. So you can actually go in and put the date that you uh, stopped working. So you can put that date, it'll ask you the last time that you worked regular full-time hours. So you can put that in. Um, if there was a, a, a change in your normal working hours, meaning that your hours were reduced, you would put down the fact that your hours were reduced. And um, you, uh, what you would need to file for unemployment, your social security number, um, your home address, your mailing address, um, if it's different than your home address, your telephone number, a valid email address, and if you don't have a valid email address or an email address at all, you can go to Google and sign up uh, Gmail. Go to Google, put in gmail.com, and you can sign up for an email address there, or you can use Yahoo, um, you know, as your email address. If you have filed for unemployment before in the past, you have a PIN or a personal identification number. If you have not previously filed, then a PIN will be assigned to you. Direct deposit is optional. You can provide that information with your bank name, address, account number, and revenue number. Um, I would recommend getting direct deposit with everything that's going on because if not, they will send a paper check to your home. And so you have that processing time, you have the mail. If they decide to close things a little bit more um, as far as uh, mail, then you won't get your mail. So. Um, you may want to uh, do direct deposit and have a way to get your uh, money electronically. And it's faster. You'll get the money faster and you don't have to go out to the bank. Um, so even though banks are still open, you won't have to go out to the bank. You won't have to delay, especially depending on your situation as far as, um, you know, your mobility and different things. You can have your money to you faster. You want to have um, your employer's information, the one that you are separating, have been separated from or have reduced hours with. And so you want to have your employer's name, address, phone number, um, your employer's PAUC account number, if that is known. It's not required, but if you have it, it helps. Um, first and last day you work with your employer, your reason for leaving the employment um, or you know, being home, so you, you want to have you put that in, and I'm sure they have a um, special um, uh, category for COVID-19 or, you know, quarantine. Um, they, again, they have step-by-step -step instructions on how to file your bi-weekly claim um, after you file the initial claim. These are the steps for filing your initial claim. After you file your initial claim, you will get notification on approval and how much your um, unemployment compensation is. I'm not sure if that's coming in the mail um, uh, now. It would come through the mail, but because things are the way they are, you might get an, an email or something electronic. Um, you do have the option of filing your application by paper. You can download it and mail it, but again, it will take more time for you to get a response. Um, so you can call. They do have a number for you to call to assist you. Um, they do have video services 
for those who are hearing impaired um, to help them. The normal uh, hours of operation are 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Wednesdays is 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. And Friday, it is 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Um, there may be some um, variation of those hours because of the self-quarantine. Some offices have staggered hours and staggered shifts. So I don't know how that would affect um, that. And it may be longer wait um, on hold, uh, on a phone. And typically, there's pretty much a long time. Um, so expect to have a greater, um, greater long wait time because you have more time found if you are calling in. Uh, within several business days, uh, you can respect to receive a confirmation letter. Um, again, I don't know if they changed that and they sent something electronically to you because of the amount or which you will still have to wait uh, during that time in this letter will confirm that your claim was received. It will also contain a pen if you don't already have one, um, which is required to file your bi-weekly filings. The letter will also include other information such as the date you will need to file your first bi-weekly claim and any other actions you must take in order to bring your eligible for benefits, which um, I, I do need to mention that when you normally file for unemployment, you have to register with CareerLink um, and show that you are actively seeking employment, that actually has been waived um, during this time frame because you cannot go out and actively seek employment um, and have interviews outside if you are um, on uh, this restriction. So um, there are people who can work from home and if you're looking for work from home work, then you will have virtual interviews. But there are people that are in, you know, our, our world who their job is not electronic, just cannot do it um, and work from home. Um, so they have weighed that requirement. And also the fact that you have your children home, if you have children uh, and everything like that. So, you know, it kind of makes it a little bit harder to do that. So. Um, they have waived that requirement. Um, so you will require to use your social security number and your PIN if you need to change your address, your phone number, your fax number, your email address, uh, your federal withholding, because they do uh, have the option for you to take out federal taxes um, from your unemployment. If you need to change your PIN, um, if you need to check your payment information, if you want to um, get direct deposit, or check your direct deposit for your unemployment benefits. Um, if you're filing by weekly benefits, you need your PIN and social security number. If you're reopening a claim, and if you're requesting your UC 1099G, which is what you use to file at the end of the year. Um, so you wanna make sure that you keep that confirmation letter in your PIN for future reference, memorize it, um, so that you can have that. Um, you will get a notice of financial determination, which I was referencing earlier. Um, this letter will advise you if you are financially eligible uh, for benefits and what your anticipated benefit would be. This document does not indicate approval or denial of your benefits. Your benefit eligibility will be determined after a review of your employment history is completed. Um, but again, they are waiving some guidelines for unemployment. The, the federal government has infused unemployment with some finances um, for yourself. Um, I would make a phone call because there was a question that was put that if you had just gotten hired um, and you were maybe in your probationary period in your first month, your first week, are you eligible for unemployment? Um, that is something that you would have to make a phone call about um, to find out if that is the case. Um, so um, I would call them and find out. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that because this is an emergency and they're saying that you can file if certain things happen with your employer that you are still eligible, but I don't want to be quoted and misquoted and giving false information. So I would say contact the hotline or use the, um, the live chat and ask. Um, 
them if that is the case, if you are able to get it considering this crisis, um, if, if those guidelines are ordered. Um, so what I would say is I, I know that this is probably um, a short show for me, but I wanted to make sure that my people um, and my viewers who are going through this time, we're all going through this time together, but I wanna make sure that you are okay and that you have access to the resources to help you get what you need. Um, and I'll be with you every week. And um, as I stated earlier, probably um, having a group in the chat, um, live stream um, to talk with people who um, are alone during this time. Because, you know, we, we talk about, you know, people who have families, people who are parents, and, um, you know, that and, and the adjustments that they have to go through. But there are single people out there who live on their own and by themselves who may be going through because now you're self isolating. You're, you've been in the house for uh, seven days, 14 days, depending on what happened with your job, because some jobs were closing um, even before last week. Um, and so uh, that's why they have this, this mandate to be seen. So um, just to let people know that they're not alone. Um, to help alleviate the fear, um, different things are going on, um, you know, outside, different people have different opinions. Um, so just to have someone to talk to, um, so people are not climbing the walls. Um, I know, uh, you know, watching TV, you know, is, is okay and it's entertaining, but for some people it can get old um, really fast and we are in the second week and we don't know we're gonna go into the third week or a fourth week. Um, at this point, but I do want to make sure that everyone has what they need, that they have the resources that they need, that they have the support that they need, because this is not just a one person battle or a group of people or it's just them and us. It's We're all going through this. And I would encourage people who are younger in a younger age, if I fall into that younger bracket, um, who are healthy and young, um, this does impact you. You can catch the coronavirus. Um, you may um, get over it or you may have mild symptoms, but you can spread it to people who are older, you know, um, vulnerable people, people who are, are sick. So I would admonish you to um, socially distance um, so that you do not attack those people um, and that you keep yourself safe. Um, because from reports that I've seen and heard, on the news of people who have gotten it, and even young people have gotten it. Um, this is not like the flu. I mean, the flu is uncomfortable. Um, it is. Um, I mean, you're sick, so sick is sick. But this, this, this is this is um, another level of something. So if you don't have to go through um, an illness. Um, why? Why? Why go through it? If you don't have to go through it. So, and the sooner you socially distance and follow those guidelines, the sooner things will get back to normal. Um, and then you will be able to go out and socialize like you were accustomed to socializing and going to work and things going back to the way, um, well, I, this impact, you have people who are passing. So um, get back to normal as much as you can um, during this, during this crisis. So I would just say, just you know, follow those guidelines, um, be safe, and Katrina is here for you. Um, I, I'm, I have to decide when I um, go live. It may be tonight. Um, so if you um, follow me on uh, social media, you can go to facebookcom slash ready. My personal page is um, Katrina Brittingham. If you type in Katrina, K-A-T-R-I-N-A. Brittingham, B-R-I-T-T-I-N-G-H-A-M. Um, in Facebook, I pop up. You, you don't even have to type in all of Katrina Brittingham and I pop up. Um, if you are on Instagram, um, it is uh, Venture Ready is my handle. Um, I also will be um, live on um, YouTube or at least putting the live uh, video streams that I've recorded onto YouTube and you can subscribe and see when the next video is. You will see um, 
uh, past episode of IT with me, as well as past episode of uh, uh, Career GPS. Um, I am a little um, delayed in sending in new episodes because I was trying to prepare myself and my family for, um, you know, the self quarantine, the, the, um, social distancing, um, and and people working from home and making sure that everything was okay and my family was okay. So um, I am a little um, delayed um, with that, um, but I am going to be here. Um, just to talk about some things, talk about business related things because businesses are impacted, even online businesses because um, the internet is strained because now everyone's online. Um, more people were online than that were before. And so it was taxing the system. And so, um, you know, looking for strategies to help um, alleviate that. Um, so we're, we're all impacted um, by this. And again, I just wish many, many blessings on you. Um, praying for everyone um, and their families. And I will see you next week. Thank you for joining us for another episode of High Tea with me. To be a guest on the show, contact us via email info at Thank you again and see you next week.